Hi there, I'm Clint, and today I'm with my son Ian. Greetings, fellow hominids. <laughs> and uh, today we, I have brought my son here uh, to try to do a taste test. Uh, just a little background on this. Uh, this past week I was picking him up from college, and we stopped by uh, a Dollar Tree, no, Family Dollar. I think it was a Dollar General. Dollar General, it was the yellow one. Uh, yeah. And so we uh, stopped there and we picked up a few supplies. And one of the things we found was a bottle of this. It's Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. And God help us all. It's, uh, it, it struck me as kind of unusual because apparently they've been putting out these season specific flavors for a while and yeah. like now they've got a, a Christmassy one. I remember, I remember for a while they had a southern themed one at Bojangles. I do you remember the name of it? Southern Shock? So that's a name. Okay. It sounds like a newspaper headline during the Civil War. Yeah, uh, something like that. Anyway, uh so so we saw this and thought, hmm that might be interesting to try just once to say that we did it. And so we decided that we're going to do it. And we're going to do it in full view, for those of you watching on YouTube, of everyone uh, out there in, uh, in Internet land. And for those of you who are listening, you're just going to have to take up the, uh, the audio of it. Which I'll, uh, we will endeavor to keep you informed as we go on. No dead air. Um, so, just reading the, the label here, which is uh, appropriately, I suppose that's festive. Um, it's got little fruit cakes and toys and uh, little Christmas baubles and doodads all around the, uh, the edges of the label. And it says in big red and green letters, Fruit Quake, with a blast of artificial fruit cake flavor. They can't even put real fruitcake in there. I have, son, I don't know if you want to have real fruitcake in there. So, <laughs> um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour uh, a couple of small glasses of this, and we're going to kind of, going to kind of do the uh, old uh, wine test kind of thing. You know, we're going to judge it on its, on its smell and its taste and its aftertaste and... You know how it makes us feel as people. Oh, can you afterwards. hand me the uh, water? I uh, just, I still have sure. a bit of like, uh, I had one of the Christmas cakes, and it's still okay. Yeah, and we also have water to clear the palate, both before and after. So, take a little sip. Yep. All right. So, Ian, before we begin, yeah. Um, please tell the audience: Have you ever had fruit cake before? Absolutely not. I have been scared straight. I will never have it. I I will now. You're gonna break your grandma Marilyn's heart saying that because she oh, makes no. a, she makes a pretty awesome fruit cake. Um, but what do you imagine a fruit cake tastes like? I'm imagining like a brick of wax. Uh huh. With like a few assorted plastic berries. Okay, and does the, uh, <laughs> does, so does this give you expectations of having that, uh, that taste experience? Well, I mean, sometimes you do find sodas that taste literally nothing like what they're supposed to. Right, so, uh, so are you expecting to be disappointed by the taste, or intrigued, or what, what's, tell me what you're thinking going in. There's two options here. Either they're going to try and go as authentic as they can with their artificial fruitcake flavor, mm -hmm. um, or it's going to be, like, basically just 99% sugar with, like, a little bit of fruit cake spice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I... Now, looking at it, it's kind of reddish, but it's also a little brownish. It looks like sewage. <laughs> It's, I, I will say there's there's a, an unsightly resemblance to transmission fluid. I'll say that much. 
Um, all right, so we're gonna ah the the hiss of something. Doing some ASMR. Yeah. All right, so we got a we got some bubbles. That's good. It's, it's carbonated. Yep, it didn't go completely flat. Okay. Uh, pour it out. It's uh, still a little reddish. Yeah, as, now uh, it looks more like a blood transfusion. It's uh, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, this one's a little more fizzy. Okay. Well, now, I'm going to put the cap back on just in case it uh, it decides to... Spontaneously combust. Or achieve sentience. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. <sighs> no turning back now. All right, come on in. Oh, bump. All right, how about I bumped the I bumped the desk, which this is on. So, yeah. sorry about that. Uh, All right, uh, so you ready? You go first. Wait a minute. A little toast. Race you to the bottom. All right. All right. Here we go. I don't like that facial expression. <laughs> okay, you 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 go. All right. So, he's tasting it. Got okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, all right. Um, all right, so, got first impressions. What What do you... Yeah, it basically just tastes like carbonated fruit punch with a hint of cinnamon. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm getting... Okay, so, yeah, so that, that first day when I made the, when I made the face, it was kind of like, it was dread. It, it, seriously, it was dread, because I didn't know what to expect. Uh, but, you know, once I, once I got that first little bit in my mouth, and I started, like, swirling it around a little bit, it, um, there's, there's cherry. I, I tasted a lot of cherry in it. Yeah, very, um, yeah. Kind of a fruit punch taste to it. You did. Um, there was some. There's some pineapple notes in there as well. Which um, is a bit strange. Do they use that in fruit cake? Pineapple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, I've never <laughs> eaten fruit cake, so I have no clue. Oh dear lord. Okay. Anyway, uh, but then there is also uh, there's a spiciness to it. There there is um, you know cinnamon, which you mentioned. Yeah. I'm also kind of getting like a like nutmeg kind of in there um i don't think you know exactly how that back tastes but yeah i um, don't think i've had it in too yeah. many things it's uh i mean yeah, you, i think you need to experience it before you can really tell what it is but yeah it's a uh, there is a different for me there's definite uh tones of that uh smelling it it's um it's a little punchy yeah, it definitely smells like fruit punch. I don't yeah. think that affects the taste. Yeah. I'm going to take another swig here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's... It's not too bad. I have had worse sodas. I will say that, yes. Like, I'm, like I'm just going to tell you, I had bad expectations going in, because I... I got, like, the zero version of the space-flavored Coca-Cola. Mm. So, I mean, like, I was getting the zero version of something that already probably was not that good. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's, a, that's unfortunate. I will, um, in the future, I will always make a note. Buy diet, not zero. Yeah. Um, okay, so let, let's, let's finish these up and... Give our uh, give our final report here. Um, okay. The bigger one has a bit more of the notes of like the spices and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's um okay so definitely kind of a, a cherry based drink, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean I'm not really like you know I'm a Mountain Dew purist so like. You know, my, my my expectations of Dew is that it is, you know, citrusy and caffeinated and... Um, Looks like, uh, I don't know, uh, 
what's the stuff? Lo- looks like Predator's blood, basically. Um, <laughs> I was going to say more alien blood. Yeah, anyway. Well, it is an alien, so, you know. Well, yeah. um, but I mean, like, aliens, alien. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, so, this is, uh, this is a different experience for me. Uh, especially, I know Ian. You've had different flavor, at least one other flavor of. Uh, well, I think I've also had Baja Blast at least once. Okay, all right. Uh, so it's a, uh, you know, it it's not bad. It's it. it uh, I'm not angry with it. Just disappointed. Is that what? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. It's like, you know. It, as far as like artificial fruitcake flavor to it, it's um, it gets across the idea of fruit fruit cake better than it really gets off the actual flavor. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get you know they they threw in some cherry, they threw in some pineapple, and then they put some cinnamon and nutmeg in there, and they called it a day. Apparently, um, <laughs> I mean, which I guess you don't want to overcomplicate these things, but. St- Still, uh, as as far as like um, drinking a fruit cake, I, it it just ain't there really. I maybe I'm expecting too much from my from my holiday themed soda here, but it's I, I gotta say it's okay. It's drinkable. There we go. That's 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 my recommendation. Mountain Dew Fruit Quake is drinkable. Put that on a billboard and you'll sell probably more dozens. than they would. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I, I guess as the kids say, it's it's pretty mid. I I, I would have to agree. Yeah. It's uh, you know, not my favorite, but it'll you know, I if I'm not going to turn it down if somebody hands me a bottle and goes here, have a drink. Um. Which, if someone went to a Christmas party and offered a flat thing of this as, like, fruit punch... A flat thing of this as fruit punch? No. Uh, well, yeah. No. Half the flavor of soda is the fact that there's bubbles. Uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, it was it was worth the two bucks and change that I spent to buy it, I guess. Um, I, it ain't wowing me, but it's... But it's there, and uh, yeah, I'll probably finish the rest of the bottle later tonight. So okay. that is uh, that's my darn moth. Uh, uh, so that's our taste test of Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. Um, you know, a solid thumb in the middle for me, Ian. Yep, no, no gladiators getting executed or saved today. Okay, two thumbs in the middle from us. Um, join us some other time when we maybe do this again. I hope. Maybe. I mean, this went well. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah. I mean, it was a nice, it was a nice, it was a nice way to bond with my father. Aw, that's so sweet. Uh, you'll get an extra $10 in your birthday card for that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay, so, um, so that's it, uh, for, for... Ian, uh, this is Clint saying, uh, see y'all around in the, uh, in the funny papers. <laughs>